Hey everyone, it's Cindy. I am checking in again with you. I, <laughs> it's funny because I've known about what I was going to do for quite some time and I've only just recently told you about it. And as I'm filming this, I haven't told you about it yet. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, but I'm in a storage unit facility because uh, with moving home, I have to now have somewhere for all of my stuff. So I thought I would just kind of take you along a little bit for that journey as I get moved home and get moved over here into the storage unit. I still have some time at my other, at my uh, studio space. Um, so this is kind of just, you know, like a bridging the gap sort of thing um, so that it's not quite as stressful doing it all at one time. But yep, so I continue to take you along for the ride. So here is my unit. It's not very bright inside. Um, there's lighting in the hallway, uh, but the inside of the unit is not very bright. I got a climate controlled unit because I wanted to make sure that in the winter time I didn't freeze my baguettes off. Um, kind of <laughs> getting stuff out for my sales. So this is interesting. Um, I have had a unit, unit in the past. I've had a, uh, this is a 10 by 15. I have had a 10 by 10 unit in the past and was able to run a business out of my 10 by 10 unit. So this should be, this should definitely be adequate for my needs, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have a few boxes in the car and a shelf unit and we'll start to get set up. It's a few days after that last video and I'm actually at my house right now and I'm working on clearing my front room so that I have somewhere to bring the business. Um, and in so doing, I realized, you know what, hey, these walls have not been painted since we moved into this house. So it's probably a good time since I'm getting rid of everything in order to put the new stuff in. Um, but yeah, that's just extra time, right? <laughs> but anyway, I'll turn you around and let you see what's going on. Well, I have been diligently um, pulling things out of this room so that I can move the business stuff in here. Um, a lot of this stuff has gone to the storage unit um, temporarily because it needs to find a home back here at home because the storage unit is for business stuff. Um, but that, that unit right there, I don't think that's ever been away from the wall since we moved in. <laughs> so pulled that away from the wall. I'm getting ready to uh, wash that wall and clean that up a little bit um, and tape it and get it ready to paint because I'm going to try to paint in the next couple of days so I can start bringing things home. Um, this little end table is going to go to the studio. I'm going to try to sell that. And then those things, actually, I've sorted them so I know what's going to what. Some's going to Goodwill. Some's going to the studio. Some I'm keeping for art. I'm not sure what to do with our great... I'm going to point in the right place. That thing right there. Um, that's a quilt rack. And it's wonderful since my family tends to love a lot of blankets. But it won't go in this business area at all. So I'm going to have to maybe store it. We'll see because if you've followed any of this story at all, there's not one inch of space in my house to put stuff. Um, my living room is actually a little bit smaller than this space. The family room, which is on the other side of the French doors. Um, it's actually a little bit smaller, so um, it can't go there. I am going to keep this in this room. It'll make a good um, counter size workspace when I move everything off of it. The um, treadmill will stay, I'm pointing in the wrong place again. The treadmill will stay in here as well. I'm going to try to reorient that so I can use as much storage space on that wall as possible. Right now it folded down this way, so that means that I couldn't put anything there and I couldn't put anything along the wall. But if I change the orientation, since I'm not going to be um, opening the doors, drawers of that unit when I'm on the treadmill, um, I should be able to put a shelf over there. So that would be a great thing as well for shipping. So that's what I'm working on here. Um, under a deadline <laughs> to get the studio 
ready for liquidation sale at the end of the month. Um, so this is kind of in addition to doing all of that. But I did have my last live sale until September, until after I get all this straightened, you know, until I'm out of the space. Um, so that frees me up a bit there. So um, kind of liberating a little bit, actually. I actually did something fun yesterday. <laughs> I filmed an intro for it and everything. And then was just so in the moment that I just totally forgot to film it for you guys. <laughs> so, um, what I did was I went on a little sketch outing. I would call it a sketch walk, but we just all kind of sat under a tent and sketched uh, in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. And that was a lot of fun. I went with my friend Karen, who had the uh, a gallery and studio beneath me before she moved. And uh, it was a nice diversion. I had a really good time. And uh, thank you guys. Your cups of coffee helped me to buy dinner. So I was able to have a nice dinner out with her and just a nice break from everything that's going on. Um, I wanted to share with you what was going on in here. I did all of the pre-painting, um, you know, around the tops and the channels of the walls and everything, the corners. And I'm getting ready to finish doing the um, priming. And then um, hopefully today I'll be able to go get the paint and actually paint later. It depends on how fast the paint dries. So we'll see. Um, and I am going to take you this video <laughs> on my sketchbook tour. Um, so I have enough sketches in that book from New Orleans to actually share with you, including the sketch from yesterday. So I'll, I'll share that with you later. Hey everyone, it's Cindy. I'm back in the studio today working on packing things up, moving things out that I'm going to sell, taking things home. Right now I'm working on clearing a couple of shelf units that I need to take home for the uh, home studio, um, office, workspace, whatever you want to call it. So I've been working hard at that and um, I'll turn you around and show you because I want to tell you something. All right, so here's some boxes that I got together of art things that I'm keeping, but I have to tell you, I'm clearing off a, this shelf unit right there, and I've got a couple of boxes, and I'm quite proud of myself. That's why I wanted to show you. This box here is all stuff I'm selling, and out of that shelf, that's what I'm keeping. <laughs> so I'm very proud of that. Um, but you know what I meant to do? I meant to bring my sketchbook here to the studio today to film because I've got a setup here in better lighting to film it. Yeah, and I totally forgot. So hopefully I'll do that um, again. Well, I have to do it. I told you I was going to share it with you. So I have to do that before I post this. Guys, I am so exhausted. <laughs> oh my gosh. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, um, you know, it always gets worse before it gets better. <laughs> it's my mantra. Oh my gosh, you should see my extra space at the studio. But, um, I have made better out of, um, my front formal living room here, which is going to be my new studio office, whatever you want to call it. Um, anyway, I'm going to turn you around and show you. I finished, basically, I painted... I um, brought some shelf units in. I brought some of my tall work tables here. I uh, cleaned the carpet, shampooed the carpet, and now I just have to start. I have to figure out what I'm going to do because um, I'll have to put a desk here. 
I might, might move my, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say I might move my shipping uh, tables away from the windows and put my desk there, but it makes mo the most sense for them to be there because they're close to the um, shelves, which is where I'll have things. But I don't know. You know, sometimes you don't know how things are going to work until you're actually doing it, you know, and using it. So I have to bring uh, lots more stuff home. Lots of stuff has to fit into this space. Um, and keeping in mind that I expanded twice <laughs> at the other place. And um, this isn't that much space for me. So, but I do have a 10 by 15 storage unit. And it is mostly empty right now, and I'm hoping to empty out quite a bit more stuff at the liquidation sale at the end of the month. If you are local, um, you know, or within driving distance of Hudson, Ohio, it will be the last Friday and Saturday of August. Um, so keep, you know, maybe write that down on your calendar and uh, um, stay tuned for more information. I have to um, get my curtains dry cleaned and then I'll put those back up. They're just little valances at the top there. And of course you can see painter's tape at the top. I didn't get all of that down. I just, I, I've been going since I came home. I got home today from the studio at about four o'clock and I've been just going nonstop ever since. I haven't even eaten dinner. So I have to find something to eat. But this is what I did. Um, the lighting in here is horrendous. I am going to have to see, and there's never been a light up there in the center. Um, as we get rolling, I'm going to probably have to find out what I can do about that. Um, how much it's going to cost me to have an electrician put in the wiring up there to actually have a light. Um, because these side lamps just don't, don't do it. They just don't do it. And, and like in the case of that one, it really doesn't go there. <laughs> But I need the light. Actually, I need another one. I have a fourth lamp here that I might put over here in this corner. Um, so, but anyways, it's, you know, it's it's getting there. All right, I told you I was going to do the flip through of my sketchbook. And so here it is um, from New Orleans and a few sketches afterwards. All right, here we go. So this is the first... Uh, two pages or these are the first two pages of my sketchbook and I was picking up stickers as I went along <laughs> just to decorate the inside page apparently I didn't get enough of them but that's what that was for a couple of empty inside pages there where I was planning to do some other things and then I started my sketch of the square and uh, just couldn't get started so that's empty there I was planning to do a coffee cup each day at each restaurant that we went to on. Um, I think I'm only missing one um, coffee cup. And then here is the square. And we sat outside of this restaurant and ate lunch while we were sketching the corner of St. Anne and Royal Street. I love this fish. This was on the wall of this restaurant. Normally I really like this restaurant. Um, but my meal, it's funny if you read my comments, my meal that day was like lukewarm. It wasn't exciting. Um, and you know when you pay a lot for food it's nice to have it be really good now the waitress was fabulous so i liked her um in the restaurant it usually is very good my dessert was great too this was sitting on the steps of the supreme court of louisiana on royal street and then this was at mardi gras world oh my gosh this was a delight for the eyes if you haven't seen that video um it's it has something about rained out or whatever in the thumbnail uh, you have to check that out. It was such an amazing thing. We were kind of really happy in the end that we did get rained out that day. And then here's Cafe Du Monde. We went there several times um, during our trip. And then over here at the Hotel Monte Leone, 
they had a carousel bar and the carousel actually went round and round it was crazy cool of course you couldn't really get a seat there we sat elsewhere and watched it but very very fun and from this and this what was this from oh this is from this place where we ate i liked the little lobster <laughs> <laughs> so I sketched him. Um, but while we were at the Hotel Monteleone or Monteleone, we, um, I sketched out the window here in the evening. That was across the street. This is one of my favorite places in New Orleans. This is the Court of Two Sisters, and they are open for breakfast and, and lunch. I'm not sure if they're open any other time for that, or breakfast and brunch. Um, it's an amazing place, and it has such a beautiful uh, cover in it with all the vines and stuff, and it's very, you know, I mean, Louisiana is very hot and humid, and that cover makes it nice to sit outside. So this is uh, my sketch of that area. And then on Bourbon Street, we would go there to this hotel, um, not hotel, we would go here to this restaurant on Bourbon Street, and we would sketch watching the street below us <laughs> or just hang out there just to people watch. It was just, it was awesome. So I had to put that in here as well. And then this is another place that we walked around. It was our goal to do three sketches a day while we were there. And we did do that. I think the first day was the only day that we, we got just one done. This was the Sylvain restaurant and this was their back patio. Gorgeous. I thought that the, um, the setting was just amazing. Now this is after the trip. This is here in Ohio at the Cuyahoga Valley National Park. This is Boston store. The towpath trail goes this way, um, down heads towards Peninsula. That would be south. And then this way is north. This was during the sidewalk sale here in Hudson. I, it was not very busy. <laughs> So I had all kinds of time, um, and I sat then in the little um, area. It was a covered area, so I had some shade, and I sketched this while I was manning my little booth. This one is um, the Old Stone Church in Cleveland on Public Square, and I went there just recently. This is the most recent sketch that I did. It's not, I don't think it's quite finished. Um, I need to add some more darks. Um, to just kind of make it pop and notice it's long and, and crazy that way this particular thing gave me fits I had such a hard time painting that and sketching it out it was just crazy so that's why I turned it this way so that I could go you know beyond my page with it I have the rest of the afternoon here that I have to pack up art supplies and pack up things that I'm going to sell in my liquidation sale and just keep moving pack up my shipping stuff get that moved home um, thank you guys for joining me on this journey and hey i'm not sure how much content i'm going to be able to put over on mimi's treasure cottage so if you follow me over there please watch my old videos <laughs> that would be very helpful if you don't follow me over there head over there and check it out that would also be great and thanks to all of my new subscribers you guys you're amazing it's taken me years to get within a uh, stone's reach of a thousand it's in order to get monetized here on Cindy Duncan art so I totally appreciate you thank you so much and I do hope that you'll continue to watch the content as that will uh, help YouTube to continue to push it out to more people thanks for joining me I'll see you next time bye for now